What it do y'all, it's your girl makeup and travel and for today's video your girl is here to bring you this look. I did take out my contacts, it just didn't work out for them to stay in my eyes for too too long. But I do want to bring you guys this look. This is like my storm inspired look, storm from X-Men and I did do an afro because storm is black and afro it out. Um, so I hope you guys enjoy this look. I will have everything that I used in this video down below for you guys for your convenience. Um, I will try my best to link them as well if I can find them. Um, and that's pretty much all I got for you guys. So let's just get into the look. Alrighty guys, so we're starting off this video with a glue stick. Yes, I found one. Yes, yes. Hey, hey. Ho, ho. I found one. Cheers in the background. Cheers everywhere. Um, and in a second, what I'm going to be doing is taking a eyebrow brush spoolie. And I'm just going to be pushing my brows further close to the skin on my face. And then I am going to do another layer of glue. On top of that, to set it, I am just going to use my Too Faced um, Peach Perfect Powder. I would recommend either using a white powder because that will help um, cancel out your black brow hairs if that's what you have. But I would also recommend trying to find one that is full coverage. I happen to just not have one that's light in full coverage. Another option would probably be just using um, a skin tone shade that's full coverage. I do have my Melt Cosmetics um, Blur Powder and that probably would have worked even better. I don't think the end result was terrible, but you know, I am always evolving, always learning, and eventually I will find the powder that is best for me to do when I do these looks. So right after that, I am going to be grabbing a black eyeliner. Feel free to use a black eyeliner, a gel, anything that you want to work with, and I'm going to use that to sculpt out my lightning bolts and this is going to take a bit of time so that is why i zoomed it in um, and just kind of create lightning bolts wherever on your face you feel the need and kind of create them as you feel the size you want and all that jazz i kind of just went with it um, as i do with all of these looks on my channel Now I'm just going to lay down my foundation on the area and all the areas that are not um, covered in that lightning bolt. I would recommend using a full coverage um, foundation and one that truly matches you. Um, just well, actually, you don't really need to have one that truly matches you in this look because um, everything else will pretty much be covered. But either way, um, I would recommend a full coverage for this look because every part of the lightning bolt is going to be really heavily filled in and it would just be better in my opinion if you did that so that's what i would recommend um it was a wee bit hard to go around the edges um for avoiding the lightning bolt that i drew out but i do think that a sponge was the best move and not a brush I just feel like a brush would have just been a lot more complicated um, and yeah in a second I'm gonna be setting all of that foundation and pretty much even the lightning bolts with my Fenty invisible matte um, powder and that is just as my base once again I didn't use concealer just because in this look Pretty much my under eyes aren't even going to be brown anymore so there's no need for me to 
do all of that it was just easier just to set um just a foundation and honestly just to apply only a foundation Okay, now I am priming my eyes and I'm prepping to put eyeshadow on. I also decided to take that eyeshadow primer and push it up into my brow area. I felt like that might just be another layer to really cover up my brows. I think that actually ended up emphasizing them more. But, you know, you live and you learn. And this is my first year of really doing Halloween looks. So... I think I'm doing okay. How do you guys think I'm doing? I would love to know. I also did take that primer under my eye because I knew I was going to be taking um, the eyeshadow under my eye as well. Now I'm reaching into a shade from one of my masquerade for my magic palette from by Juvia's and I am just building up that blue all on my lid. I am going to eventually be blending that out um, over my brow on the side of my temple and even in the middle over my nose i really wanted this whole area of my face to just be blued out um and i wanted to start off with just a blue that i knew um i liked and you will see in a minute that i will continue to build with another blue just to add some dimension and then i will eventually build with a black in the future so, yeah. Now, if you can see what I'm doing, I'm just trying to blend out the edges. Um, there's only so much blending <laughs> from that dark blue to my skin, especially with the brush as big as it was. But, you know, I felt like it did something. Now I'm taking the darkest blue in my Colored Rain Vivid Pigment palette and I am just applying that once again exactly how I did the Juvia's Place shade just to help bring dimension there are two different shades of blue as you can see and i feel like in a storm you get a bunch of different shades of blue a bunch of different shades of black um silver gray all of that jazz so that's kind of how i decided to build my look then i'm taking my black from my pat mcgrath um palette and i am just slowly building that into my eye look as well the black wasn't as apparent on camera as it was in person but i do think towards the end um you will see that there is still some dimension to be had with adding a black so i would still personally recommend putting a black in there just make sure that the black does not overtake the blue because at the end of the day you do want at least i wanted a majority of the look to actually be blue but the black to just deepen it up i didn't want this to be black eyes <laughs> now i'm just filling in my bolts i chose to use my wet n wild paint pot in the black to fill in my bolts i don't know why i didn't just use it to create the bolts but you know it didn't cross my attention i guess i don't really know um so i'm just going to be taking my time doing that um and it does take quite a while because i have such a small brush but a lot of my brushes are actually dirty so i had to use this really small lip brush to really do it plus the bolts are really small so using a smaller refined brush helps to make sure that i don't color out the lines and that i really punk on punk on the punch wow add on to the color and really emphasize all of that jazz so not mad overall but it did take some time for me to really get this part done
Alrighty, so I finally did that and I wanted to add some dimension into the lightning bolts. So I took a white from this um, paint palette that I have and I just kind of threw it in every so often into the lightning bolt. And eventually what I will do is I will use the other side of the lightning bolt to um, blend or other side of the sponge to try and blend that white in. I also wanted to mention in my eye look and as you can see, I feel like just adding that white really did show the difference between the blues and the black all up in it so i am happy that i did that but this is just a bottom layer i'm definitely going to be blending it out as you can see and i will definitely be using other things to truly truly emphasize um the differences in the colors i wish i had a different brush to really blend in that white in the black bolts i didn't so yeah that's what it is and i'm also just using what i have once again and i'm using that same brush to try and start to blend out the black i would recommend doing this first what i should have done after doing that is i should have taken a blending brush a really small blending brush and taken a black um eyeshadow and blent from the actual inside of the lightning bolt to my skin i think that would have added some um dimension and just really emphasize the bolts especially towards the end of my look i felt like the bolts didn't really emphasize themselves and they kind of blended in and just kind of looked like some random black streaks on my face which isn't terrible i mean it's halloween at the end of the day so as long as you have some stuff that looks weird and isn't your quote unquote normal you're good to go but yeah food for thought okay now what i'm doing is just expanding that blue area i just wanted to expand it a little bit um and you'll see throughout this look that i slowly just continue to build that blue area and other parts of my face where i find it may be beneficial i am building it the exact same way i built um my eye area so i'm starting off with that lighter ish shade from my juvia's place palette then i'm building it with my shade from my colored rain palette and then i'm I'm lastly building it on top of all of that with my black from my Pat McGrath palette. At this point, once again, I'm just trying to really emphasize those bolts because I knew I was going to be doing some more stuff. So what I did is I took my Silver Beauty Space Panda, I believe. Yeah, I took that um, and I just emphasized the outline of my bolts. Um, and yeah, I'm just doing that in every single bolt, every single line. It's a little tiresome, a little tedious, but you know, I did it to myself, so here we go. <laughs> now I did I stopped off at the um off camera and I did the rest of my body as you can see but that's the same layering technique as I did with my face blue so do take that in mind and now um, on top of my Fenty diamond or how many quartz highlighter I am going in with some more colored highlighters that one happened to be electric from Kristen Lee cosmetics I really enjoy it it is a duochrome and because it doesn't necessarily have any glitter, the glitter from the How Many Carrots uh, highlighter from Fenty really filters through that whole look. And you can see I have that How Many Carrots highlighter on my lid shade and around my eye where I put the white previously that I blended out. And I'm just doing the exact same thing with this highlighter as well. Um, I really like what I did. I wish I actually put some of this highlighter in some of the bolts. I think that would have even added a little something something as well. But once again, food for thought. Better late than never. Hopefully you guys will take that into consideration. Um, but I enjoy how the look kind of came out who knows i'm i'm hard on myself aren't we all anyways next i'll be taking one last highlighter and the other highlighter is the one that i'm actually putting on right now 
Um, and I don't even bloody remember where it's from. Where is it from? The other highlighter is from Vanessa's Vanity and it is in Transcendence. And this is a kind of, I would say, a clear base. Once again, just mainly um, glitter, but that glitter is blue. So I felt like this look really was nice because I had the white glitter or the silver glitter from the Fenty highlighter. I had the blue base from the Christina Lee highlighter. And then I had the blue glitter from the Vanessa's Vanity um, highlighter. So overall, I really felt like all three of those coming together really created a really nice shimmery look. Um, and yeah. I didn't show it off on camera, um, but off camera, I actually ended up taking more of that Silver Beauty liner and creating lightning bolts around my eyes. Um, and I just did the really small ones that you can draw, the 2D ones, not the 3D ones. Um, so I'd recommend you do that pretty much after you highlight all the areas to really accentuate your eye orbit like I did. I really like that I did that I think it really added something something to the look um, and had I not had a wig that was like so overpowering to my small head um, I think you guys will have seen even more of the highlighter in the finished product but you know it's not about the finished product or the final result it is about the process and I feel like this process was fun and interesting and hopefully I will continue to learn how to be better in the future if I want to so, yeah. Now I'm just, of course, blending the highlighter somewhat, you know, there's only so much I can blend that obscene amount of highlighter, but I am just going back with one of the previous brushes I had the blue on just to blend that stuff out just a wee bit. Now, you know, I'm just staring like, what, what do I want to do? I don't really know. So I just threw on some blue highlighter on my nose because your girl always has to have highlighter on her nose without a shadow of a doubt and now I pretended like I blended it away when I really didn't and I'm gonna pop on here in two shakes of a second uh, I believe with my wig on Here you go. Here is the finished look without the white contacts and you can see the lightning bolts around my eyes. I think they actually look really cool. And then here is the finished look with the white contacts. Did you guys peep my Harry Potter lightning map molt scar? Yes? No? Bye. <laughs> Alrighty guys, so this is the finished, finished look I put on my white contacts from TTDI. Um, I also added some like storm bolts um, and I added those with my Suva Beauty Panda, Space Panda um, a Hydro liner. I gotta take these um, contacts out and then I'll finish out this video. Okay, sorry about that. My eyes just really do not like contacts alone, um, but they also just really don't like those contacts. But I really like the look. That's why I keep putting them in. Anyways, just my wig. I feel like we're a little crooked. I really like how this look came out. I did happen to do quite a bit off camera and I'm sorry about that. Um, I just didn't kind of know how I was gonna get this look to come out. I definitely think it could have been better, but I like what happened. I've never claimed to be really good at FX makeup or anything like that. This has no FX in it at all. This is just kind of makeup. Um, I will of course have everything down below that I used. I used quite a bit of my actual collection. The only kind of FX stuff that I used was the Wet n Wild um, pots that I got. I only used the one 
I used my Silver Beauty Hydro Grip Liner and then I used this random paint palette. I would not recommend this palette. I'm going to probably throw it away this year. Um, but that's pretty much it. Everything else, if you're interested, the highlighter situation is... Okay, my highlighter situation is goals. I'm really happy with how that came out. But that's all I got for you guys today. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And as always, y'all, black lives do matter. Please remember to wear a mask and stay safe. And please remember to register and to vote. And I will see you guys in my next video.